if you like night games, I, I think you're going to like the future of the SEC um, because and Georgia because you're going to get a lot more of them. Now, I've, I've talked about this a little bit uh, when I talked about the 2025 schedules that came out a week ago. A week ago. We already know Georgia Alabama is going to be a night game. When I was talking a video just now, a minute ago, about, you know, Georgia seemed to play a lot of night games in 23. Uh, the UT Martin game, the Kentucky game, the Ole Miss game, uh, and then uh, also the, uh, oh, there's one more, home, uh, UAB game. I think there's going to be probably, if I had to guess, there's going to be three or so night games a year. That's my guess. Now, what is a night game? Well, Georgia's actually defined this as a night game is anything that starts at 6 p.m. Eastern or later local time. So I think technically the national championship game in Los Angeles was not a night game because it started, I think, at 5. So that was not a night game, although it was clearly um, so, you know, Georgia Georgia plays a lot of games that end at night. Any CBS game, that's a night game. Uh, you know, that, well, what used to be CBS games, so the, the 3.30 traditional game of the week for Georgia or for the SEC. What What's going to be different here in the near future is, obviously, if you are unaware of it, Disney, which is ABC, ESPN, et cetera, now owns the rights to all SEC home contests. Gymnastics, swimming and diving, tennis, equestrian, and football. So they can take those properties and put them on any network they want in the Disney you know, umbrella. That means ABC, ESPN, the SEC Network, ESPN Plus, ESPNU, which will hardly ever happen. But it has. So those, those are what's going to happen in the future. The other part is because you no longer have a constrained time for the uh, game of the week for the SEC like you have since 1996, since you no longer have that, that means that the game of the week is often, not all the time, often going to be a night start. Now, when will it not be a night start? There are a couple of scenarios where the games won't be. Just a couple. Georgia, Florida is not going to be at night. Uh, they're going to do all they can do. The schools are going to say, we just don't want this game at night. We're not comfortable with this game at night. And then, you know, Disney can say, well, that's great, but we're going to put it on at night. Or, you know, they can say, um, you know, we, we hear you. We're not going to do it at night. The other game I think that quite clearly is not going to be not at night is the Cotton Bowl, which is, you know, Texas, Oklahoma, Red River rivalry. That game is not going to be at night. They also, it won't be at 11 o'clock local. In fact, here's another one for you. The SEC Network games, as well as the non-ESPN, the, the SEC Network games specifically, so Vanderbilt, Georgia, those games are no longer mandated to start at a 12 o'clock kick. So if Georgia's playing Vanderbilt in Nashville, specifically on the SEC network, that game can get pushed to 1145 local or almost one o'clock Eastern. Does that matter? It matters to the Western schools and everybody in the league's a Western school except Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, and Kentucky. Everybody else, they are on central time zone. Okay, Vanderbilt, Alabama, Auburn, and everybody else over. So if you are the Texas A&M, if you're a Texas A&M and you're playing uh, Missouri, that game is on the SEC network slated for the first slot. It is no longer going to have to go to immediately start at 11 o'clock in the morning for them locally. So they are very excited about that on the other side of the league. But I think the reason why you're going to see more night games, and, and like this is not coming from, you know, anybody at Georgia. They're, they may be learning a thing or two here. I, I doubt that. But, you know, I, I'm not just calling up, you know, Kirby or, or Josh um, saying, hey, you know, what do you think? No, they don't 
really know necessarily. But all of the, you can put two and two together. Well, you can probably put four and four together, really. You know, you've got one of the biggest brands in college football and, and sports, really, is which is Georgia. You've got a new contract. They're going to want to spotlight their brands. So that's Georgia, Bama, Texas, LSU, you know, Tennessee to some degree, Auburn to some degree, the Gators, you know, they're going to want to put, like, Georgia, Tennessee, that's not going to be a 1 o'clock or a noon start. That's either going to be a 3.30 or 7, you know. Uh, Georgia, Alabama, that's never going to be, I would say that's never going to be any time other than at night, just from here on out. Alabama, LSU, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> any of those games, <coughs> I can't, I can't stop them sneezing. <laughs> Any of those games that are marquee games, Bama, so Bama, the Iron Bowl, you know, the third Saturday in October. Although, although, sometimes the premier games like Georgia, Florida, like Texas, Oklahoma, they will not want to be at night. And then you get another game that will be at night. So, like Georgia, Missouri, this past year, that would have been a night game. Georgia, Tennessee, that would have been a night game. Georgia, Auburn, that would have been a night game. All those games would have been night games. Would Georgia, Kentucky have been a day game? In theory, it would have been. But, like, we already saw Georgia Ole Miss was a night game. Georgia Ole Miss this year, if it's not a night game, I'd, I'd need to look at the schedule. It'd be a little bit surprising. But what I would say is – I actually do have the schedule. What I would say is, you know – when, when you look, part, part of the reason why, you know, looking at the schedule is kind of irrelevant because what you've got in this future here is you don't, I don't know off the top of my head who's playing which weekends and I'm not going to do it while I'm driving. So, but there are marquee games, Georgia, Florida, Georgia, Tennessee. Well, let's go in the order. Georgia, Georgia, Bama, Georgia, Texas, Georgia, Florida, Georgia, Ole Miss, Georgia, Tennessee, I mean, Georgia, Clemson. Those are all six games. Five of those six will probably be at night. Probably. Now, three of those that I mentioned are away games. Two of them are neutrals. One of them is at home, George Auburn. And I'd have to look that, you know, what what is that weekend? But if you're if you're saying, well, you know, when should I? Well, I I would anticipate Georgia Auburn being at night. That's what I would anticipate. Um, I would anticipate every every game I've talked about here. You know, like Georgia Clemson, I think will actually be a 3:30 kickoff on ABC. It could be at night, but I think that my uh, that Notre Dame visiting Texas A&M will be the night game on ABC that that night. I suspect Georgia Clemson because of I suspect that because of Clemson's like sort of slipping down on the totem pole. My suspicion is that that game will be a noon game and that because ABC does not always get Notre Dame in a marquee game, particularly against an SEC school, they're going to put that game at night. Uh, when you look at the, you know, a couple weeks later, Georgia, Kentucky, when will that game be? It's not going to be at noon. So, like, Georgia playing at noon, that's going to happen less and less frequently. Um there are going to be moments in time where that's going to happen. There's going to be moments in time that the program wants that to happen. The week before Georgia Tech, they would prefer that. You know, this past week, this past year, Georgia, Georgia Tech at night on ABC, like, that was shocking because Georgia Tech sucks. And, like, in terms, of, in terms of viewership, they just don't draw. But, like, all those games now, I mean, another thing about I mentioned Georgia Tech, I mean, my suspicion is that now that Disney owns the rights to Florida, Florida State, Georgia, Georgia Tech specifically, those two, but really Florida, Florida State specifically, and then they've got Georgia, South, Georgia, uh, Georgia Tech, and they've got Clemson and South Carolina, they might want to start slotting those games on Saturdays because they control it no matter if the game is home or away. They do not have control of other properties. Uh, you know, they don't have control of any Notre Dame game. They only have so much control over the Big 12. They only have so much. So, you know, I just, 
they may want to build inventory and build build their brands even more that way by saying, hey man, it's Thanksgiving weekend. We know Georgia Georgia Tech is at noon. We know Georgia Georgia Tech is at night. You know, or Florida, Florida State. We know that's on Friday night. You know, I, that that's what I would be curious to see as we move forward. Georgia would probably not want to play the week before the SEC championship game on Friday. Um, and, and I don't blame them, but they're, that's what the money's for. And, you know, there's a couple of different ways of looking at it. You could say, well, you know, it's right on top of a conference game like this past year that would be getting ready for Tech after just playing Tennessee on six days rest. But you'd get the extra day to get ready for Alabama or Texas or whoever would be in the SEC championship game. So I would get ready for more night games. I don't think you should plan on six night games in Athens, but you should plan on at least a few. Thanks for watching.